welcome to all in today's class we will discuss about the classification of instruments so as you know that uh, instruments are character uh, classified by uh, different based on the different principles so there are different principles and based upon that equipment works and accordingly we can classify those uh, instruments in different categories so we know that in the physical like in process engineering and product quality assurance okay in physical science or process engineering or product quality assurance measurement is the activity of obtaining and comparing physical quantities of real world objects and events the established standards objects and events are used as units and the process of measuring given number of given number relating the item under the study and the reference unit of measurement so we know that the measurement generally involves using an instrument uh, as a physical means of determining the quantity of a or a variable okay so the instrument serve as an extension of human faculties and enables the man to determine the value of unknown quantity okay so we have already discussed that what is the role of instrument what is meant by measurement what is by variable what is by measurement and why this uh, measurement uh, is useful in process control uh, and to reduce the human effort so we have discussed already the significance role function and characteristics of the measurement okay so the instrument this instrument can be classified based on its working principle based upon characteristic of instrument it is analog or digital whether it is mechanical or electrical whether it is absolute or secondary whether it is self operated or power operated okay self contained or remote indicating instrument so there are different classification based upon their working their function their role okay so we will see one by one how these uh, instruments are classified okay so there are basically uh, we will study about the uh, six classification of instrument okay so these are the uh, classifications of instruments that we are going to discuss today first one is mechanical electrical and electronic instrument second one is absolute and secondary instrument third one is the manual and automatic instruments analog and digital instrument self operated and power operated instrument self contained and remote indicating instrument so these are the different classification of the instrument uh, which we <coughs> which we need to discuss uh, into this class or which we should know Uh, so let's discuss one by one so very first one is the mechanical instrument mechanical electrical and electronic instrument in that first we will discuss about the mechanical instrument so we know that uh, in pre industrial area or when the industrialization starts okay in england in around uh, 18 or 19th 19th century Uh, so at that time uh, <coughs> what are the measuring inst instruments that are of mechanical nature they are simple in construction okay, they use springs coils and other uh, inherent metallic metallic uh, or product or the uh, properties of the material uh, to <coughs> measure the any quantity okay so the first instruments were of mechanically nature these are the very basic instruments that were used in early days of instrumentation after that later that uh, that electrical instruments came into existence then electronic uh, then electronic instruments came into existence so these are the chronology of the measuring devices So these instruments are very reliable for static and stable conditions. 
as these are the mechanical instrument you can rely on them because they are static and uh, they are stable and general conditions okay they do not deflect much or they do not produce uh, <coughs> what we can say if there is some vibrations or uh, any nuisance around the <coughs> environment uh, it won't get much affected so these instruments are very reliable for static and stable conditions so it could be a calipers micrometer scales measuring tapes laser etc for measuring distances so we have seen already calipers are used micrometers are used for measuring the small distances okay small length or any or any diameter of the any, any kind of material okay thickness measuring tapes lasers okay for measuring distances then we have pressure gauge for measuring pressure strain gauge for measure how much part is stretched or compressed when a load is applied so strain gauge is basically using the weight measurement system then another one is tachometer for measuring the rotational speed so if you want to know the speed of the fan rotational speed of the fan we will use tachometer multimeter for measuring electrical voltage and current so the basic uh, electrical instrument like <coughs> multimeter okay to measure current and voltages is a kind of a mechanical instruments there are some mechanical elements in them and with the help of them uh, we can measure the uh, uh, their properties okay like voltage and current uh, what is the load applied pressure applied height thickness distance these are the so these are the some mechanical instruments so what are the advantages of this mechanical instrument mechanical instruments are simple in design and application okay uh, their construction is simple and uh, also their application is also simple uh, we cannot use mechanical instrument for a complex operation these are simple in design like spring or any caliper these are what they are simply constructed and uh, easy to use okay. and next next one is they are more durable relatively cheaper so as it it won't involves much complications or uh, more number of any precision parts in them they are relatively cheaper and more durable no external power source is required for the operation of mechanical instrument they are quite reliable and accurate for measurement under stable condition so no external power is required so if we want to measure length of anything or height of anything okay any, any material or any stuff so what we don't need any external power to measure we just draw the tape and measure the distance from point x to the point y okay and simply it will give us the indication of how much length is the of that piece of wood or anything or diameter okay so we are not giving any kind of power to show or indicate the value of that quantity so this is the advantages of the mechanical instrument they are quite reliable and accurate for measurements under stable condition okay if the conditions are uh, stable okay in that case we can use mechanical instrument and what are the disadvantages of these instruments okay the very first one is the it suffers from a disadvantage that they are unable to respond rapidly to measurement of dynamic and transient conditions so their response to a given input is less okay because it takes time to respond to the output input uh, <coughs> 
example like uh, if you are measuring um, some weight okay if you are measuring weight on a spring loaded kind of um, weighing balance in that case if you are adding weight weight uh, for 10 kg 20 kg 30 kg it will take some time to show the result on the spring or on that uh, weighing balance okay spring loaded weighing balance why in case of uh, digital meter it will be very quick so these are the basic differences uh, that occurred when we are using mechanical instrument These instruments have several moving parts that are rigid, heavy and bulky and consequently have a large mass. So you know that uh, like Borden pressure gauge, it has several moving, moving parts or several parts, it consists of several parts, okay, several mechanical parts. Like there, there is having some C tube, having uh, rack and pinion arrangement, then is there a deflector is a pointer then there is one scale so all these uh, need to be function very smoothly otherwise what will happen there will be some kind of error so these moving parts may sometimes be rigid heavy or bulky okay so which affects the measurement of any kind of process or a quantity which requires uh, instant responses instant change in the output to the change in the input most of them are potential source of noise and cause pollution of silence so obviously they are the mechanical type of instruments so there are there are some movie parts some gears some rack and pin arrangements deflector so whenever we are going to measure something it it makes some kind of noise okay so these are the some disadvantages of the mechanical instrument so next one is the electrical instruments so electrical methods of indicating and transmitting the output are faster than the respective mechanical methods so the electrical instruments are uh, way much faster than the mechanical instruments in case of indicating and transmission electrical system normally depends upon a mechanical point moment as an indicating device so it will show it will have some kind of mechanical pointer okay as a indicating device and uh, this instrument are light and compact okay mechanical instruments are bulky are, and are not compact but these electrical instruments are light and compact then amplification produced is greater than the produced by the mechanical means so electrical instruments have more amplification uh, capacity than the mechanical one okay means like uh, if you are uh, measuring some kind of volt or current like 4 ampere milliampere in milliamperes also that can be sensed by the electrical by using electrical instruments it can be amplified to a greater output okay so this amplification this, this is the advantages of the electrical instrument then they provide greater flexibility and are lighter in construction they are lighter in construction okay and they provide greater flexibility than the mechanical instrument these instruments consumes less power and hence cause less load on the system. These instruments, this electrical instrument, they are consume less power, okay, and uh, thereby uh, energy consumption will be reduced. So next one is the electronic instrument. So previous one is the electrical instrument, and next one is the electronic instrument. So this electronic instrument basically uh, uses some kind of vacuum tubes and uh, semiconductors registers in them 
so whatever the modern scientific instruments that we are today using they all are made of electronic devices okay so our tv is electronic device our mobile is electronic device so it it have different chips resistors processors semiconductors so these electronic instruments are part of the modern scientific measurement system it gives a very rapid response to the change in the given output so as the science progresses the uh, number of electronic instruments measuring instrument have evolved with the time and today we know that for a quick and a and a rapid process control we need a rapid measurement devices we can accommodate with this system even with a smallest uh, change in input it will give the same kind of output in a short span of time and there is a change in even, even in a 1 millisecond it will detected by the that electronic instrument and accordingly action will be taken and this mechanical and electrical instruments and systems cannot fulfill this requirement so change in rapid change in input to the rapid change in the output are not uh, sufficiently fulfilled by the uh, electrical or mechanical instrument hence to cope up with that or to get the rid of this equipments we came up with the electronic instrument so this instruments involved vacuum tubes or semiconductor devices as i have said these may be have some kind of cheap semiconductor resistance resistors in them for the measurement purpose so in this very weak signals can be detected by using pre amplifiers and amplifiers so there are some amplifiers pre amplifiers with the help of them we can even smallest change in the input or a signal can be detected and accordingly we can measure the things the foremost importance of the electronic instrument is the power amplification provided by the electronic amplifiers which is the main characteristics of the electric instrument it amplifies the signal or the input okay with the help of some kind of power amplification okay so electronic instrument find extensive use in detection of electromagnetic the produced signals such as radio video and microwave so these are basically used uh, in this kind of uh, measuring system like in radio video and microwaves okay so this is all about the electronic instrument next one is the absolute primary and secondary instrument absolute or primary and secondary instrument so what is meant by absolute or the primary instruments absolute or primary instruments are those which give the value of electrical quantity to be measured in terms of the constants of the instrument and their deflection only okay like a tangent gyrometer so in this case what happens it gives value of electrical quantity to be measured in terms of the constant so there will be some some kind of constant or constant in the instrument and based upon that we will get some kind of uh, value or the some kind of indications with the help of some deflector like in tangent galvanometer we get the value of the that quantity we are measuring the instruments are rarely used except in standard laboratories especially for calibration of secondary instrument so these are the very basic kind of instrument okay and these instruments are generally used for the purpose of calibrating the secondary instrument these are some just should be time consuming instruments and it requires more time 
that's we generally do not prefer the primary instrument so the electrical instruments of different parameters like current voltage power energy these are the most essential in industry and these are among the oldest of all measurement so the various electrical instruments we broadly divide into two categories absolute and secondary instrument then secondary instruments so secondary instruments are those in which the values of electrical quantity to be measured can be determined from the deflection of the instrument only when they have been pre calibrated by comparison with an absolute instrument without calibration the deflection of such instrument is meaningless so in this case we will measure some kind of quantity with the help of deflection of the instrument only okay not the a kind of constant okay we measure from the deflection of the instrument like in a voltmeter or a gas thermometer and the pressure gauge are typical examples of secondary instrument so what in glass thermometer there is a mercury and there is a calibrated scale okay so whenever we dip that uh, bulb of the mercury in a water or any liquid okay so accordingly it will rise or it will get down okay depending on the temperature if the temperature is high it will the mercury inside the thermometer will go up and it will show the recording okay so there will is a pre calibrated scale there is a pre calibrated scale on a mercury thermometer and accordingly we measure the we came to know about the status of the temperature so we don't need any kind of constants or or <coughs> constant by the primary instrument okay it only shows the it will deflect from its position and it will give some kind of value so this is the